Say you want to enhance your animation in Fusion by adding 3D God Rays, as I have done here. This is very easily done in Fusion by using the Volume Fog node. The Volume Fog creates a 3D volume like many 3D applications would do and can even scatter light. But with this trick you don't need any modeling or simulation skills to create these God Rays. You don't even have to use time intensive light scattering. Let's create 3D God Rays. First, we need to create a 3D scene for our volume, since the volume fork needs a world position path to work. Create a shape 3D node and set it to sphere. Increase the radius until we are completely inside of it. If you have a camera movement like I have here, you need to add a merge 3D and merge your camera with your scene. Take a 3D render node and render your 3D scene. Make sure you have RGBA and world position checked as the output channels. Now we can add the volume fog node. If we view this right now, you won't see a difference. This is because we are compositing white fog onto a white image. Go to the color tab and check fog only. You can change the color and see that we are in fact creating something. Head into the noise tab and increase the detail, because no volume is good without some noise. If you have any form of camera in your 3D scene or want to add lights, you need to give the volume fog access to your 3D scene by piping your last 3D scene node, in my case this merge 3D, into the pinkish 3D scene input on your volume fog. Now the camera movement will line up. But we don't want a noisy cube, so take your image or animation and pipe that into the fog image input of your volume fog. Always watch your memory while working with volumes. And usually you don't need a big resolution, so I will add a resize node between my animation and volume fog. I will scale down my animation from 2000 to 250 pixels. By default this isn't animated, so add an expression to the first time slice in the color tab. Type in time. Now it's animated. Increase the samples until you can't make out any individual slices anymore. You probably want to line up your volume to your animation. If your image plane 3D is in the center like mine is, you only need to unlock the X, Y, Z scale in your volume's shape controls, add an expression to the Z offset and divide the Z scale parameter by 2. Now our god rays line up perfectly and we can tweak the look until we're happy. I hope you liked this quick tip, which is part of a longer tutorial where we will be creating this animation from scratch. Be sure to check it out.